Hi everybody, uh, back today to share another quick little um, traveller's notebook which I've uh, just finished up over the weekend. Um, it's actually been inspired by some onion skin dyeing that I recently did. Um, I did a little batch lately with some um, fabrics and just little bits as a test run really, just little bits of pieces. Um, and I just so love the shade that had come out but it sort of reminded me of... Um, summer when it's fading you know that little moment before you get to autumn and it's just sort of turning peachy orangey but not quite autumn well this is what it reminded me of um, and this is what this journal's inspired on sort of end of summer days sort of that sort of a theme but it is actually mainly a butterfly journal um and i've used a kit from zoe to uh, tofield called age butterfly I just felt it was very muted and faded and went perfect with the project that I had in mind for this journal. Right, it is a, a traveller's notebook. It measures ooh, eight and a half by four and a half. It has 52 pages front to back and it's just got a very simple um, ribbon closure. I can't think what this thing's got, seam binding closure. Um, it's a fabric cover and this also has been um, dyed with the onion skin um, mix that I made. Uh, this was white before, but it was very stark and bright. But I just feel as though the onion skin's really muted it down. And I'm just so in love with this colour. Um, the front of it I've just collaged up with um, a butterfly, which is from Artie Mays. There's some of Artie Mays ephemera in here as, long, as well as the Age Butterfly kit. Uh, it's got some corrugated card, a little bit of cheesecloth, a bit of lace and some music paper and I've put um, some corners on the end. Just put it into frame a bit better. Um, the front, um, there's a little uh, journal card that I've used as a tuck spot and quite a large journal card but the butterflies on these are very very lovely. Like I said everything's very muted and aged and faded and just really love the kit and the colours. Um, There's quite a lot of space in this for journaling and I've left it that way because it is mainly a journaling sort of um, diary. Um, some eco dyed paper, a little flip. I have done some um, lace trims on the edge which I've done in sort of cream and that sort of, I don't know what colour to call this, it's like a peachy apricot bordering on that sort of. Um, some more eco dyed paper. I've done a little uh, flip out here which gives you more writing space and you can keep it private, you just close it over. Some journaling cards. Um, some of it I think is off Pinterest and I know that's an arty maze but I've sort of got bits and pieces of a few kits in here. I've even um, dyed the papers with, the, well some of the papers with the orange skin mix and they've come out of lovely sort of very autumn sort of an orange, not stark orange but it's like an apricot. A uh, little flip out here with a little Tim Holtz botanical flower thing. Um, another butterfly page. Oh it's hot here today in the UK. I know we are always moaning about the weather but wow it must be touching night here to them, sort of melting. Some more eco paper, some lime paper, which has got some more of these butterflies on. Never happy, are they, in this country with the weather? Um, I've printed this onto cream paper because I just felt cream sort of lended with the colour I was working with a little bit better. Some Edith Holden, a little um, mushroom flip. More paper that's been edged with um, crochet lace. A little doily here which I also dyed. I was, it was one of them days if it stood still it got dipped into onion skin sort of mixed day. You know them days where you just want to dye everything you see. Um, another little butterfly from the kit. A large butterfly. I won't, I'm struggling a bit to get things in and out because I've still obviously got my hand in a cast. Just come back from the fracture clinic and I've been told it's healing well, so that's good news. Um, another one of Artie May's uh, tagged journaling cards. There's a little envelope here, um, probably won't be able to get it out now. It's another little 
journaling tag. Um, I've just done a little collage here of um, some corrugated card, just made it into a pocket. Little butterfly, a little bit of bling and cheesecloth. A little bit of Tim Holtz paper for journaling on. Another little Edith Holden. I've chose September because I just felt these colours were sort of slowly merging into September. I know we're only in July, but I'm already looking forward to autumn. Some more space for journaling. Some of this lined paper. Most of the paper is from the kit. I think the kit is called Age Butterfly. It's really, really lovely. Um, another large tag here with the butterflies. Some more um, Femme from Artie Mays. Not sure where I got these from because I don't think they are actually out of the kit. Um, probably off Pinterest or I bought them from somewhere. Um, I've just put some little tuck spots there. I've got a fold out here for extra journaling space. And the other side of that little mushroom picture and the Edith Holden. Um, this is another piece of, um, this was vintage lace which I dipped into my onion skin mix. Um, and one of these little pocket things, I won't take it off because I'll struggle to get it back in. Um, journaling card. Um, just done a little flip up, flip out things for extra writing space and there's a chuck at the top. Another little collage butterfly with some more journaling cards. Um, another envelope which has got some um, little ATC cards inside, some more eco paper, another little fold out. But I just love all the butterflies in this kit and the lovely muted shades. Um, another little tuck out, space, plenty of space for writing. And I've just done a little pocket here with um, some fabric which I um, dyed as well. And some cheesecloth, which also got dipped in. I told you it was one of them days. If it stood still, it was dyed. A couple of little journaling cards. But do you see what I mean about this colour sort of fading into autumn? I'm really good. I love this paper. Um, my paper came out a really nice colour, so I've saved a lot for my autumn journals, which I'm hoping to start on this week. Seeing them off work for a few weeks. Um, and I'm actually managing to craft better than I thought I would, so I'm going to um, make hay while the sun shines because I'll be back at work sooner, I would imagine. Um, isn't this lovely? I was going to put that on my cover, but I decided to just keep with the butterfly. And here I just put a little pocket in the back page with some um, journaling cards from Artie Mays from Zoe's kit. Um, and I've just trimmed it with a lace and I've just put um, a little bit of fabric which I've just put some butterflies and some bling on. Uh, another little journaling card and there's a tuck spot here. And the back I've kept plain because it's just got a lovely, this fabric is lovely. Like I said, I wasn't keen on it when it was white. It just looked a bit bright in your face. So it has got um, a little butterfly on. Um, and this I've just gone to list into my Etsy shop now if anybody's interested. I will put the links below um, for the Age Butterfly Kit and the Artemis stuff that I've used. Um, hope you're all enjoying the sunshine and not working too hard. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll catch you all later. Bye.